There we go. So I'm gonna trim this toenail just so we have it a little bit shorter during the procedure. So how many years has this been bugging you now? When, when did it start? And again, nothing should about, hurt. He was complaining of um, wearing like sneakers at about age three. And we found that kind of odd, but we just put him in sandals most of the uh, year. He stayed a lot in Jamaica, so that wasn't, he could run around without his shoes necessarily. But um, at about um, six, the... T started getting uh, red. And, and what, some, yeah. what sometimes happens is we just are born with a really wide nail, yeah. maybe a really curved nail. If we have footwear that's squishing the foot too much, yeah. pushes the nail into the skin or skin into the nail, and then we get stuck in this vicious cycle. Yeah. Once we have swelling that over overgrows or traps the nail, it's, it's done. Yeah, it's yeah. done, unfortunately. Conservative treatment does just not work really well. Yeah. So. How old was he when he had the, the first procedure done? And this is iodine, this is that antibacterial ointment. Uh, we went to a podiatrist at about grade six. So he was about 11. Mm -hmm. And we just did like really, uh, you know, just- uh, Conservative trimming. Cutting the nail, making sure that it was trimmed properly. Things like that. Was it already um, inflamed? Yes, it was infected badly. Already? Yeah. By then it was really infected. So we had to wait for the course of antibiotics. To, um, we had antibiotics, antifungal, um, and then at about 15 he had the first procedure where they cut into it and took off some of the nail. And again, they just cut the side, removed it. Did yeah. it feel good for a couple of months, a year, how long did it last that first? Not even. Do you remember if the cut was made straight or on an angle? Straight. Okay. So again, they did the procedure, but when you don't kill the nail, yeah, it'll grow back. It'll just grow right back. Yeah, so. within a couple of months it had grown and it's never really healed. So I'm just wiping down the toe and we're gonna put a little bit of a blue rubber band on, okay? So you're gonna feel a little bit of pressure. Now do do you remember if they had the toe wrapped up when you had the procedure done? One grunt for yes, two grunts for no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, that pressure tickles. Pressure that tickles, that's good. Lungs not hurting. We're gonna do our second check in a moment. Now, any reason that first foot specialist didn't suggest or didn't do the procedure when it was already infected and flamed? Uh, he wanted the infection to go away. He said that it might have been a fungus situation because it was really raw and red and really swollen. Okay, so when, he said it, he, it would have been... Um, we're going to do a little check. Anything sharp down here? It wouldn't have been an ideal situation. Sharp? Sharp. sharp. Um, I feel something on like the, near my heel. Yeah, so that's the, the um, little clamp, but anything at your toenail? Uh, how much I can feel? Anything sharp here? <laughs> Don't feel much, right? Okay, so it is crazy to see where that last cut was made and how much nail it's was still, not taken at all. It, it's mm -hmm. completely here. I don't think he was a podiatrist, to tell you the truth. He was just in the family, family and, clinic. And so if he was in the family clinic, it, was, it, it, it wasn't a foot special. It thing. was just to trim it up because yes. it was really yeah. nasty looking, to tell you the truth. I and, had, Photos. I didn't bring them. And so we're gonna make that nice cut. The nice thing, actually, we get to still save a lot of toenail. The the toenail is really not that much of an issue being super super wide. It's just the skin is really really overgrown. Now, that's one of these issues in the community about treating ingrown toenails. Yeah. If they are infected, they are saying you sh you should yeah, try to, but yeah. the, the truth is the reason you have an infection is because the nail stuck in the yes. skin and until the nail comes out, it's It'll not going to get better. Yeah. So that's why I treat them whether they're infected or not, because really the issue for the infection is the toenail itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, no, I would not yet better. soon. So this is the, the fun part that everyone loves. You can see the skin here, yeah. and this is where I made the cut, and you only see a sliver of the nail, the, yeah. the width of my piece. So what it, you're gonna do the twist. 
And we're gonna see what's hiding underneath. Wow, that's amazing. You can look now. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, but this is the piece that was underneath. Holy shit! Yeah. Can I have my mom see that? It'll be up there. You can bring it home. You can bring it home in a second. So as you can see, it kept being hacked back and it kept going back in. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And two of them said there was no nail underneath. And I kept on telling her, yes, yeah, there is. No wonder you're And the, the last bit I just said, there is no nail there. No nail. No, there's a lot of nail. $400 later. <laughs> Holy so he's it back. You did awesome. We got this wow. one side. What's wrong? Why are you all... Pain? Or just pressure? Or just look, it looks crazy? Just, it just looks crazy. Yeah. It just looks crazy. So again, you see the hole. It's the, around Holy. the thickness of my, of my tool. Shit. Look at that. Look at the hole and look at the piece. Holy. So it's a, a wide nail bed. It is very wide. Very wide. Okay, you did awesome. So we're gonna dry out the area, make sure there's nothing left behind, clean it out, dry it up. We put the acid and that's it. Those corners will not grow back and then we'll clean up some of the skin, not my cutting like crazy. We'll just clean this bad tissue because like we discussed, you've already been through so much. We're gonna make this healing as easy as possible. When we do cut that extra skin, lots of blood, lots of pain. We're just gonna keep it really simple. We're gonna take an antibiotic for the next seven to 10 days to really help bring everything in. Yeah. All this fleshy tissue, that's all that what we call hypergranulation tissue mm -hmm. that's been forming because the body is trying to heal yeah. that wound, but the nail is blocking the body from completing it. So it's sending more tissue and it's still not healing, sends more tissue. And that's why we just get the toe growing and yeah. growing and growing. So everything looks good. Making sure there's nothing left. There's just a little bit of some tissue that we'll pull out. Yeah, you'll get that little crustacean off. Yeah, at the end. So what happens, that is all blood vessels. Yeah. So if I cut it early, there's nothing wrong with it, but it does cause more bleeding. And one of the biggest reasons this procedure fails is if there's too much blood, it'll wash out the acid. So that's why number one, we have the tourniquet on. Yeah. And two, I'm waiting to remove any of that extra skin till after we've completed the acid portion. Okay, that's fantastic. Back in the day, sometimes I'd cut that skin early and it'd just be a little bit bloody and so yeah. it might affect the quality of the acid. Wow. So look how deep, right? It's going all the way. That's how wide the nail's going on either side of those sticks. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. What kind of acid is it? Not ones for the ravers. This is a phenol. This is a 89% phenol. Okay. And it basically what we're doing is chemically cauterizing mm -hmm. the nail matrix. Excellent. Now the old school way to do it, one was they use electricity, but if you miss one little piece, it will uh, grow back. You guys okay? Yeah. Is it okay? Hello. Are you in shock? Hello there. I told them that the money is coming out of his birthday money for next week, so. Um, but hey, you're going to get a new toe. You're not going to have any pain, babes. So I hate seeing you in pain. And so, yeah, it's uh, the other way they used to do it beside using electricity is they'd actually cut out the nail matrix. Yeah. So they'd make a cut all the way down here, take a wedge and then stitch it up. But again, the problem is if you miss one little piece, it'll grow back. Now, I find that the chemical does work the best because we're literally flooding that pocket with the acid. And so hopefully we get, we, and we normally do get better results. And the other reason why sometimes this comes back is if people don't apply a lot of acid. So some people are very gentle. They don't want to cause trauma. But the truth is we are it's causing outrageous. trauma. Yeah, we, we want to create trauma. We want to kill the nail cells. So that's why I do a little bit more, yeah. but that's going to reduce our chance of this coming back. Please. I think he suffered long enough. Oh no. Yeah. Since seven, you had your first appointment. You said seven years old. No, like, we're oh. going into oh, yeah, since so he was, that's uh, good. You can put that on Facebook. That's crazy. Yeah, and they kept on saying, oh no, wait, wait. 
antibiotics, he was on antibiotics for a good two years. And it wouldn't it's heal, it wouldn't so heal. It was like yeah. open wound, yeah. open wound. Yeah. And I think the mm -hmm. other doctor, when he cut it, yeah. he just basically cut because his toes couldn't touch. That's what happened. So he has to take all that uh, bulk yeah. away. So he cut right into it. And bled for a little bit. He never healed. Oh, gosh. I'm going to be able to go to sleep tonight, eh? You're going to be able to sleep. Because last time it was, it was crazy when I woke up. You'll be able to sleep, but that, again, throbbing is normal. You have some... Um, you take some Tylenol, you take some Advil. Can you prescribe that? They used to, uh, one one doctor had told me about a um, a spray, like it numbs. Uh, cold spray? Yeah. This, I, don't, this, I don't think there's anything prescription, but I wouldn't spray anything on top of this. Okay, okay. I would just suck it up unfortunately it's a little tough but the talent on advil do quite well and again because we have this numbing that lasts six to ten hours it does take a lot of that first initial edge off okay. versus other times where one hour so it's starting to work. the night of these screams i know why you do yes <laughs> town on advil the two together yeah, Tylenol, but i don't have any advil ibuprofen is good yeah, we, we have a blood clotting issue. I do. Oh, so that's right. Use so as you can see, lots of acid to really yeah, good. Kill it. make sure that this is not coming back. What's wrong? Hmm? Sorry, is it, does it just go down? Yep, yep. it's going Your down. Toe, yeah, it's all the way down. Where's the other piece of toenail? I think I might have been no. thrown out. Yeah, I, I think it was in the show gauze. Her. It's gone. It might have been. We can search for it after. Okay, you relax. So we're gonna just flush out this area. This is rubbing alcohol to neutralize that acid. That's yeah. it. Reaction is done. Wow, I don't feel the stinging for the first time. What do you mean? You normally feel stinging? No, no, like no. We oh. use uh, alcohol. In oh, <laughs> and yep, yep, and it'd be lots of fun. So this is where I'm just gonna not do our aggressive cutting, but just kind of clean out Trimming. some of that yeah, yeah, yeah. extra of that, that bad skin. Great. And this will help the area speed up. I like hydrogen peroxide. We use or hydrogen peroxide yeah. too. Doesn't that also kill the bad cells? Um, it, it, yeah, it damages it. That's what he was telling me. Yeah, then he yeah. So again, this is not as aggressive we would normally do, but I'm just trying to really get anything that looks like that hypergranulation tissue out. That would be great. And then we, the normal cells will fill this in and within one week, this will be completely flat. Fantastic. I just want him to be able to walk without. I just want to play basketball. Yeah, you're gonna be playing basketball. You, other people had a few uh, years head start because you couldn't play, but now you're going to be able to catch back up. This side's doing pretty good. I just want to work out. Man, I cannot believe it. that's crazy. So I'm super happy. Yeah, that you're gonna... yeah like, I mean, his socks are bloody. Yeah, so even though we didn't cut that normal extra skin, which I normally would to start fresh, you can see how big that hole is. Yeah. Definitely going to bleed. But it's still going to be better if we did the whole full skin removal. Oh, so what yeah. you guys are going to do, anytime you see it bleed, you're just going to have to take off the dressing, put a new dressing on, and put it on nice and snug, okay? Okay. So this is how you're going to take care of it. Looks good, eh? Isn't that great? You're going to put... see how much nail he had to take out? Yeah. So you oh, were... we can't debulk it. Well, if it, if it doesn't go back, if it, if it doesn't shrink... It... it will shrink. It will shrink. It's going to shrink okay. quite a bit. It's going to well, look pretty we'll good. We'll come back and he'll debulk the area for you. It's just going to come out of your pocket again. So what's going to happen? You relax the foot. Antibiotic cream. The first couple days, because it is going to bleed with all that little extra skin we removed, you're going to put on the gauze. Yep. Yes. And we put on the wrap. Okay. Now we do this morning and night. Now, if it bleeds through, you just have to change the dressing more often. Okay. Fantastic. What am I going to be allowed to put on socks? You can put on socks now with the dressing. It's just going to be a little bit um, thick. So you can see it's already bleeding through, which is normal. I'm just going to really wrap it a little bit more snug. And we just got to get pressure on this baby just to slow down some of that bleeding. Am I supposed to do a salt water bath on it? Like we do? No, we don't want to soak it too much. The reason, when you make the tissue so wet, 
Yeah. It just won't heal. It'll be too soggy. I know. Everyone does different things, but what I found works out the best is the first week we do use the antibiotic cream, keep it covered, and then the second week we start using the brown liquid to dry everything out. If you really want to soak it, because it's not a bad thing, but it just be once every three, four days, not every day, not every other day. So again, I'm rubbing, I'm putting on really snug today, just because I could see it's a bleeder. If this bleeds through this, we're just gonna take it off, put a new dressing back on. Okay. Okay. Gauze and then gauze wrap. Okay. Morning and night or every time and you bleed. The through. antibiotic cream or yeah. the, the white cream? Yeah. Yeah, the antibiotic cream. Fantastic. Thank you. So oh, I did have the other piece I was hiding. Oh, okay, fantastic. Let me show her. Oh let me can I bring her in now? Look at that. Remember how they told you that there was a rock in the Let him show you. Let him show you. That was underneath. Yep, that was underneath the skin. See that? So this came from, this part came from this side of the foot, and this was underneath that part that the other guy told you there was nothing. So basically, And so look, they cut down, right? You can see they cut down and stopped, yeah. or pulled, or chipped. And again, yeah. how long was it when they did the cut removal? A year ago? More than a year. Yeah, almost. It takes yeah. one year for a new nail to grow back. So I, again, I don't know exactly where they made their cut. I bet you they probably so did yes, make it just over, I don't know. It's just crazy though. Mm -hmm. yeah. But look at that piece, right? That was underneath, though. That was underneath the skin. Mm -hmm. Yep. I see you got some um, nice, e these would make some good earrings, man. You just put <laughs> a little wire on them, two dangly ones. And this was on this side of his foot. Which side of his This is on the right still. side, this is on the left. Oh, he's going to have to get this done, but I can't afford to do we just today. do. We just wait till the future. But again, as long as you're maintaining it, leave the nail long. Do yeah, not cut do. down the side, do. just like you are. Okay? okay. All right. Fantastic. Okay, so, so this will come back? Not no, come back. We, come back. we use an acid to stop those corners from ever growing back. Oh, you 